What's up guys, Mortal122 here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3. In today's episode, I'll be showing you my MOAB with the, with the Spaz-12 that I'm, as you can see, using. But I want to talk about some of uh, the flaws in our uh, dearly beloved Modern Warfare 3. One of the biggest flaws, and I don't know why they haven't been able to fix this over the last three games, but weapon balance. Why, why do we have weapons like the Type 95 that kill on two hits? I checked the weapon stats on it, and for some reason, the Type 95 does 55 uh, damage per bullet. And if you don't know anything about the damage system, um, basically each person, person has 100 health in core mode, that is, and hardcore it's 30, so it doesn't matter, well, I'm playing it, but whatever, it, but whatever. Um, so, so each bullet but from the Type 95 at a certain distance will do 55, which is a um, two shot kill, so you only have to land two out of three um, bullets from the three round burst, which, you know, some people are like, well, you have to aim with it, well, you only have to get hit twice. So, I mean, compared to like, compared to like the spaz, you know, you, you, you walk up to someone like that and you get hit markers on that. If I was using the Type 95, it would probably, uh, probably, uh, probably get them pretty easily. But the only reason that I'm doing so because I, because I have extended mags and uh, midge on my, midge on my uh, spaz. Without it, it's not, it's not bad, but it's not good. It's definitely no striker. Striker is the only shotgun that doesn't need uh, extended mags or um, damage or range, whichever one you like to use. But yeah, even though I showed striker um, videos, the striker is pretty overpowered, not gonna lie. Um, compared, to, I've used every shotgun now for a while. Because I'm trying to get all of them gold, and um, KSG is by far the worst without any attachments. Now, model becomes obsolete compared to the other um, shotguns because of the no attachments, so it can't boost from ex boost from extended mags. And I know Ward said that they're gonna patch uh, the extended uh, extended mags glitch, extended mags glitch, but. I don't know if they should because really like all you have to do is you know patch the striker and nerf it a little bit nerf you know the I'd say the MK14 because that does more than a sniper rifle in terms of damage oh not all of them but like the dragon knob it does more than the dragon knob you know <laughs> like if you look at the damage for every single sh uh, sniper rifle you don't even have to like use any of the guns you can tell right away that the Dragonov is awful. And if it, like, like the RSS, um, then, like, you can kind of make an argument, well, you can just spam it, but it has so much kick that you can't really spam it that much. So what's the point of having a gun like that when you have, you know, the MSR, or even the Barrett, if you're not a uh, bolt action guy, where you can just get one shot each time? You know, it's things like these that blow my mind, like, about the decision-making that, that Infinity Ward's been doing. And it's fairly simple fixes, too. I mean, if you, like I said, just look at the numbers, j adjust them, pretty much. You know, lower the Type 95 to make it at least a three-round burst kill. Like, the M16 is a th technically three uh, bullets, but it doesn't feel like that because of the uh, drop-off in range. Um, in this game, well, in all Call of Duty games, um, the farther you are, the less damage your gun does, to, well, not including sniper rifles. And some guns have a bigger drop-off than other guns, like the submachine guns aren't as strong from range, you know, that's obvious, but looking at the M16 compared to the Type 95, both are three-round bursts. Both are relatively strong weapons in their class, but Type 95 is two out of the three round bursts kill, while M16 you need all three plus the damage, the 
range on the M16 is just a little bit smaller. So, I mean, it's just common sense. But uh, this brings me to my next topic. Like, <laughs> I've been using the shotguns a lot, and you know, it's really hard to pull off some good games, like especially without extended mags, because they're really bad. If you try, like. Go out and try the KSG for a couple games, and if you get a KD above two for at least a game, then you're pretty good because it's so hard to get consistent hit markers. But yeah, here, yeah, here I am camping. <laughs> I think I heard this guy come, so I was waiting. But anyway, you know, KSG does become a viable gun once you get extended mags, which again. All you have to do is patch, either buff everything else or nerf the striker. Like, and Infinity Ward seems to be lazy about things, so why not just nerf one weapon instead of um, nerfing them all and then buffing them again? Because, you know, <laughs> shotguns are just so underused and powered. And I'll powered. And I always get comments after games saying, striker's overpowered, I'll give you that. Spaz. The USAS is not bad. Spaz is decent. Models are good until the uh, extended mags glitch kicks in with the other shotguns. And uh, the A12 is actually not bad with uh, with extended mags and damage. They're fun to use, actually. I would highly recommend it. But yeah, definitely shotguns are a little underpowered, even though... Everyone seems to think that if they get killed by some weapon that someone else is using, it's overpowered, right? Even though you see no one using them, which still boggles my mind. But anyhow, um, going back to the assault rifle class, I would say that you know M16 is garbage right now. Like, it's really hard to use. Um, if you were to uh, probably buff it just a tad and then nerf the type 95 a little bit you know then also give acr a little bit more kick because for right now i think that's the second most overpowered weapon in the game especially with the silencer on it, it it's like a sniper rifle you can snipe people with it it's kind of ridiculous and then the mp7 is the third um gun that's overpowered if you uh add a little more kick to it as well because giving it a faster fire rate you know with no kick at all is not really a fair deal just give it like the mp5 has too much kick you should swap um swap the numbers with that so give mp5 less kick and uh but it'll be stronger so you know hopefully mp5 will uh return to its cod four days but yeah um, hopefully Infinity Ward does something about it as, as uh, you know, everyone's complaining about the spawns. They said, they said they fixed it, but I can't even play Domination anymore because it's so uh, rage-inducing. Just the spawns, how you can kill someone and then walk five feet and that same person knows exactly where you are because, you know, you just kill him, and he's able to just finish you off. But here I get my Moab, and uh, it's a celebration time. Yay. But yeah, this game was really, really, really slow. They uh, I tried to uh, push the tempo a little bit by getting a Moab, and uh, I think I did that. At the beginning, I, feel, I felt like I was going to get like you know, 15 kills because... Didn't seem like anyone was moving from their spawns, but glad they did. But anyway, um, there's my failed throwing knife. Um, I don't know what you guys think about each weapon and uh, what needs to be nerfed and buffed. Personally, nerfed would be MP7, Type 95, and ACR. Buffed would be most of the shotguns if you're taking out extended mags. Um, MP5 and some of the LMGs are just terrible. Like, uh, no one uses LMGs and, and 
I haven't seen anyone using the LMG in uh, Modern Warfare 3. But, but, yeah. Let me know what you think. And, uh, I'll let you know what you think, what I think in the comments. So, we won 62 to 41. Uh, final score. Forgot what, let me see what it said. Look at that quick scope. Boop. Boom. And there I am. Going after, going after that tag. Final score 36 and 4 with a MOAB. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and uh, farewell.